excellent children of God. Jesus loves you. Welcome to church. Transition children, are you here? Say yes! Toddlers, are you here? Say yay! Welcome to church. But before we start today's service, let us put our hands together and pray to God. It's time to pray. It's time to pray. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Put your hands together. Put your hands together and say your prayers. Say your prayers. Our Father, we thank you for today. Thank you, Lord, for the grace to fellowship in your presence. Thank you for, Lord, even as we fellowship, you will dwell in our midst. You'll give us a word to run with. Thank you for our mommies and our daddies. Thank you for keeping everyone around us safe. Lord, to you be all the glory. We are grateful and we say thank you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Jesus is alive. One, two, three. Jesus is alive. He died for you and me. But on day three, Jesus rose again. Jesus is alive. One, two, three. Jesus is alive. One, two, three. Jesus is alive. He died for you and me. But on day three. Jesus rose again, Jesus sees the light. God loved the world, so he gave his son. Jesus is my friend, he loves everyone. praise and worship, right? It's time for our nugget. Our nugget today is polite speech. Are you ready? Yes. Number one, I am royalty. I say, excuse me when I sneeze. Can we take it again? I say, excuse me when I sneeze. Number two, I am royalty. I say, pardon me, please. If you want someone to say again what the person said that you did not hear. I take it again. You say, pardon me, please. If you want someone to say again what the person said that you did not hear. Number three, 
I am royalty. I say, please, if you want something from someone. I am royalty. I say, please, if you want something from someone. Number four, I am royalty. I say, hello, if someone says hello to me. What do you say? I say, hello, if someone says hello to me. Number five, I am royalty. I say, hi, if someone says hi to me. So remember, we are supposed to say, excuse me when I sneeze. Pardon me, please, when you want someone to say something over. Say, please, if you want something from someone, you say hello if someone says hello to you and you say hi if someone says hi to you. How great is that? Good job. Enjoy the rest of the service. Hello, hello, royalties. It's another beautiful time to hear and listen to God's work. Are we ready? Yay! Oh, this is my Bible. Where is yours? It's Bible story time, so you must always come along with your Bible. Bible story, God's story. Bible story, God's story. This is my Bible. It is God's word and everything written in it is true. Now, children, we have been learning about the life of Jesus Christ as super duper hero. Remember last week, we learned that it is very good to obey God. Wait a minute. Why is it good to obey God? Why? Because we love God and because good things happen to those who obey God, it is good to obey God. Royalties today will learn another reason why you should obey God. Beautiful. I'm sure you're eager to learn that. Now, our topic for today says it's super fun to obey God. It's super fun to obey God. So in our usual manner, you're going to repeat that topic after me. Are you ready? Now let's go. It's super fun to obey God. It's super fun to obey God. Beautiful. Children, our Bible story for today is about a fish which had money in its mouth. Hmm. I'm sure your guess is as good as mine. A fish which had money in its mouth. Okay, now let's just follow this story. By the time we're done, we're both going to understand why a fish had money in its mouth. Okay, in the Bible this, once you were 20 years old, there was an amount of money that you're going to give God as an offering. They called it temple tax. Let me repeat that again. Once you are 20 years old, there was an amount of money you were to give as offering to God. They called it temple tax. So one day, those that collected the offering came to Jesus and his friends to ask for their offering. Do you think Jesus will give the offering? Do you think so? Of course! Do you know how Jesus gave his offering? Follow me. We're going to get all these questions answered. A superhero Jesus asked Peter to go to the river and catch a fish. Yes, a fish. Really? Yes, a fish. He told him to go catch a fish and he should open the mouth of the first fish and he will find the money to give the offering for the temple. Surprise, right? Let's go ahead. Isn't Jesus super fun and super amazing? 
Isn't Jesus super fun and super amazing? He is. He did not ask the money from one of his friends. He did not. He did not ask Peter to go to the bank to go get money. Jesus did not. Jesus told Peter to go and get the money from the mouth of the fish. Surprise, right? Follow me. Tell me, if you were the one Jesus sent, what will you do? You will be a bit confused like me, right? Or uh, you will be excited. I trust you. You will run to the river to catch the fish. Let's read the Bible and see exactly what happened. Our Bible reading is taken from Matthew chapter 17 from verse 24 to 27. Matthew chapter 17 from verse 24 to 27. When they had come to Capernaum, those who received the temple tax came to Peter and said, does your teacher not pay the temple tax? He said, yes. And when he had come into the house, Jesus anticipated him saying, what do you think, Simon? From whom do the kings of the earth take customs or tax? From their sons or from strangers? Peter said to him, from strangers. Jesus said to him, then the sons are free. Nevertheless, lest we offend them, go to the sea, cast in a hook, and take the fish that comes up first. And when you have opened its mouth, you will find a piece of money. Take that and give it to them for me and you. Wow! Did you hear that? Peter found money in the mouth of the fish. Of the first fish he caught. Isn't Jesus amazing? Isn't obeying Jesus super fun? It is. It is truly super duper fun to obey God because anything he says always happens as we obey him. Praise the Lord, children. Hallelujah. Now, from the Bible story, we have learned some lessons. We're going to be taking those lessons one after the other. Number one, Jesus is a miracle worker. Yes. And everything he says happens. Amazing, right? Number two, it is super fun to obey Jesus. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to be taking our confessions for today. Repeat that after me. I will always obey. I will always obey Jesus because it's super fun to obey him. Now, whatever I say, you take it after me. You can put your hand on your chest. That won't be bad. I will always obey Jesus because it's super fun to obey him. Amazing. I will always obey Jesus because it's super fun to obey him. Amazing. I love my children because I know they will obey God and they will obey mommy and daddy and their teachers as well. As well. Amazing children. Now we're going to be taking our memory verse for today. We've been on this memory verse for some time and I know my obedient children already knows this memory verse. Remember, the memory verse is taken from Matthew chapter 11 from verse 29. Okay, and it says, Accept my teaching, learn from me. I am gentle and humble. Yes, the teaching that I ask you to accept is easy. Now let's take the song. Accept my teaching, learn from me. I am gentle and humble. Accept my teaching, learn from me. I am gentle and humble. Yes, yes, the teaching that I 
ask you to accept is easy. Yes, yes, the teaching that I ask you to accept is easy. Matthew 11, 29. Amazing. I'm sure you sang along with me. Okay, we're going to be taking our home play for the week. What is the best thing that can help you obey God? Watch cartoon? No. Go to school? No. Play with my friends? No. Reading the Bible, remember? You have yours there. Reading the Bible, yes, reading the Bible can help you to obey God. Thank you. Hello, toddlers and transition children. I believe you had an awesome service today. I enjoyed the service too. Yes, mom and dad, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and join our Telegrams community where you can download our quiet time for the week and follow up with the wonderfully lined out home plays we have for you for this week to help our children lead at home and even after this period to be able to lead at school. Don't forget you are royalties. Keep conquering your world for Jesus. Bye.